Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're going to learn about literal equations. I'm going to solve each equation for the indicated variable. So if I was given this equation, xm, not the radio, just x times m, plus, uh, I'm sorry, equals x plus z, and we're going to solve that for x, okay? Well, if I'm going to solve for that, what I need to do is um, I'm going to rewrite it here, xm equals x plus z. And I'm going to bring all my x's over to one side. So we subtract an x of both sides. I'm really trying to avoid sneezing right now, so sorry if I do. Um, that leaves us with a z by itself on the right and an xm minus an x on the left. Well, now I see two x's there. I can pull out an x from that part, leaving me with x times m minus 1. And that's equal to my z, which is still there on the right. And you can see that if I distributed this, right, multiply the x back in, x times n is xm, and x times 1 is x, and the subtraction sign is still in between. What that allows me to do here is there's multiplication going on. Opposite multiplication is division. So if I subtract an m minus 1 to both sides, that's going to leave me with x by itself here on the left, and a z over an m minus 1 on the right, and now x is all by itself. It's isolated, and so I have my final answer. So let's recap. We we're given xm equals x plus z, and we're solving that for x. I rewrote my equation, then I subtracted an x to both sides, giving me, excuse me, or leaving me with x minus, uh, xm minus x equals z. I then pulled out an x from both parts here, leaving me with x times m minus 1, and parentheses, equals z. I then divided m minus 1 on both sides, canceling out that m minus 1, and now x is all isolated by itself, and it's equal to z over m minus 1, which is our final answer.